The rich cultural heritage of the Northeast is perhaps the most talked about aspect of the region. Its colorful dance forms, folk literature and music are the stuff that legends are made of. While the 220 plus tribes in these eight states have some common features, there is a rich diversity in their cultures. But a lot of this cultural heritage is being lost or transformed because the next generation is in the process of finding itself. In this report, we look at some important views which do reflect the underlying concerns about heritage loss. These dances can mesmerize us. They have in them stories that date back thousands of years. They tell us history. History that's unwritten. History that's not described in words, but in music and harmony. Linking communities with the powers of nature. And a process of worship to the giver of all in different forms. Dance becomes ritual, prayer and entertainment, all in one. Such is the power of tradition that we presume it's self-sustaining. But we live in a time when tradition and modernity must blend, but not to lose heritage, perhaps to enrich it. We see uh, what the rest of the world is doing or what the rest of the country is doing and nobody likes to kind of stagnate. That's true not only of us but all human beings. It was inevitable that development should come. It was inevitable that the people will accept it. It was inevitable that there would be erosion of traditional values and laws and which happens in any society. Conservation of heritage is very critical, particularly when our heritage in the Northeast is not documented as yet. Right? We have lost. Say one of the things which we have lost in the past is a tremendous and, the, and a very rich reservoir of knowledge on traditional medicinal systems. We have lost. Right? We have lost huge number of, uh, you know, heaps of manuscripts. We have lost so many cultural practices. You, we have lost so many social practices, right? At the same time, what we, are say, what, what we say is we are conserving heritage, but none of the items in the Northeast, except I think Kaziranga National Park, right. has, been, has been in the World Heritage List. Uh, in our some folk story, cultures, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some interesting stories uh, related to the origin, origin of the universe, origin of man, and some interesting folk tales, the origin of rivers, some uh, traditions about the Brahmaputra, and we have some uh, poems, uh, some new poems also have come up uh, about the Brahmaputra in modern literature, in modern poetry. But it is also there in oral tradition. These are excerpts of Shad Sukh Mansiam, or the dance of the happy hearts of the Khasis. Shad Sukh Minsiam is a thanksgiving dance and seeks God's blessings for the coming year for an abundant harvest. They dance to drums and pipes called Tangmuri, the queen of musical instruments. The Seng Khasis preserve this dance form and music led by the Tangmuri pipes. Nongkrem dance of Meghalaya is performed by girls in traditional costumes and ornaments. The decorated crowns the girls wear signify the glory and dignity of society. Young men with white yak hair whisks in their hands dance along to the music of tangmuri and drums. The Nongkrem dance is performed in November during the autumn season. Over the years, the festival has been attracting a large number of tourists from various places.
Sien Raj Jovai is one of the most colorful and important Bedding Klam festivals of Meghalaya. It's organized at the Sacred Pool or the Aitnar in Jovai. The festival dance is performed to drive away plague and evil spirits from society. Thousands of Sien Raj from Jovai, Shillong and Umulong join the festival dancing in the sacred muddy pool to the tune of drums, cymbals and flutes. At the sacred pond are rots or paper monuments carrying various messages on them. Apart from dance, literature and folklore are preserved and passed on in the oral tradition. The storyteller is taught his skill in a system not unlike a school of dance and music. Before literacy came to us, everything was contained in the oral tradition. Like, you know, there were knowledgeable people in the society who carried the history of the people in their heads, who knew the names of the forefathers, who knew the stages of migration, who knew the origin of the clans, and who knew the old songs and stories. So they had a rich repertoire, and that had to be preserved. And in order to do that, one, the institution of morungs, you know, in our language we call it the arju. That's the dormitory. And it was meant for uh, the, uh, sleeping, as sleeping quarters for adult males. And it was in these dormitories that all these stories, histories, songs, stories were repeated to the and taught to the young boys so that they would become the guardians. They would tell the stories in their term. You're watching Northeast Interface. We're taking a break. Stay with us. The life and culture of all the 19 tribes of Tripura, like the other Northeast states, revolve around jhum or shifting cultivation. The tribes occupy themselves besides agriculture, in hunting, and they keep themselves entertained through songs and dances. The dances were ritualistic, worshipping the forces of nature. Hojagiri is a dance of the Riang tribes. The dance is Lakshmi Puja performed on the full moon night of Durga Puja, generally after the third day of Dasara. Goddess Mailuma is the Riang version of Goddess Lakshmi. The dance is performed only by women, four to six in a team. The male members sing and play the kham, sumoi kshumu. Other women join in the chorus. Padmalochan Jamatya, a writer in Koborok, feels the dance is unparalleled in its motion. Since ancestors period, the tribal people of Tripura used to worship the god of forest for the prosperity of the cultivation and also peace, harmony, wealth, progress of the family. This dance has attained great particularly not only in Tripura but in the other parts of the country and abroad as well. Lebangs are insects that attack the fields. In the dance, the men beat bamboo sticks while the women catch these insects. Nowadays, this dance is very less performance in our state as because uh, new generation youngsters 
are not ready to learn this dance. It's because the globalization and the modernization of the world attracted them towards the modern culture. ये इसके बारे में ये लोग असल में चर्चा भी नहीं कर रहे हैं वो सोर्स नहीं मिल रहे हैं पहले की बात ये अपना फेस्टिवल होता था वहाँ पर होल नाइट ये फॉक डांस फॉक सॉन्ग चर्चा ही होते थे घर घर में अभी तो ये भी नहीं मिल रहे इतना बिजी हो गया अलग दुनिया में कंपटीशन करना पड़ता है तो तब भी अभी हम लोग को सोचना पड़ेगा ये कैसा क्या करके ये बच्चे लोगों को इसके बारे में इंटरेस्ट करना चाहिए सोइंग इज डन इन मिड अप्रैल एंड देन द त्रिपुरी स्प्रे टू गॉड घारिया फॉर अ गुड हार्वेस्ट घारिया पूजा कंटिन्यूज फॉर सेवन डेज Mamita is another tribal dance form of Tripura also associated with harvest. Many of the concerns today are to what extent can heritage be preserved since the youth don't seem inclined to preserve this dance form. Mamita nitya ek bahut sundar nitya hai. Ye nitya karne ke time jo wo ko jubati ek sath mein kafi utsah ke sath wo log karte hain. Aajkal ye nitya bhi jum kisi काफी हद तक कमी होने के वजह से चर्चा नहीं होते हैं ट्रेडिशनल त्रिपुरी क्लोदिंग पाचरा एंड रेशा आर गिविंग वे टू वेस्टर्न क्लोथ एंड कल्चर एसोसिएटेड विद चेंजिंग टाइम्स एंड एस्पिरेश ट्रेडिशनल कल्चर डांस हेल्प इन मेंटेनिंग फिजिक एंड गुड हेल्थ ये लोग अभी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया पे इतना इतना उन लोगों का मन गया है तो अपना वो परंपरा है उसके बारे में ये लोग जानना भी नहीं चाहते तो सोर्स भी नहीं मिल रहा है कैसा है क्या है इस इसके बीच में क्या है क्या इम्पोर्टेंस है तो ये हम लोगों को ही समझाना चाहिए अपना जो परंपरा जो लोक संगीत है लोक नृत्य है ये भी एक इम्पोर्टेंस है हमारे जीने के लिए एंटरटेन के लिए एंटरटेनमेंट के लिए यहाँ म्यूजिक थेरापी जैसे ये लोको नृत्य में भी अलग अलग मुद्रा है ये हमारा फिजिकल फिटनेस के लिए भी अच्छा है 